Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney. We're in the climax of episode three. Second trial of the game. We're about to prove our defendant innocent. Although we kind of already did. It's been a wild, wild tipping of the scales, but we need to also find the truth or else how can we say we actually deserve that win? All right, let's start the trial right where we left off. Interrogating these fine gentlemen once again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Rebuttal to the accusation. There were only two of us in the roof seats. It's true! Angry. If an incident happened in a place like that, there's no, pl there's no way it would go unnoticed. I didn't even know the victim in the first damn place. There's no way I would. Other than the fact that you both owed money to the dude, McGundle. The skylight was always shut. We weren't able to open it. If the victim fell through the skylight, as you claim, then I demand evidence. Proof is in the pudding. Let's go. Oh, indeed. As far as the testimony goes. Hey. If one of these witnesses had truly committed such an obvious act, I cannot imagine that it would have gone unnoticed by the other witness. Right, that's right, I say. Like I said, we swear that. However, if you two were friends, then it would be a different story. According to Scotland Yard's investigation, there were no signs that these two had been collaborating. Signs? Uh, it could have been the long con. They're friends for, like, ever since they were born. Oh, I don't trust the police or the rich. What is this atmosphere? Even though the flow of this trial is advantageous to our side, why do I feel such a sense of unease? Now then, attorney, your cross-examination. Yes, my lord. My lord. Oh. Rebuttal to the accusation. As long as the judge passes down the correct verdict, I'm okay. There are only two of us, it's true. If an incident happened, there's no way we'd go unnoticed. Didn't know the victim in the first place. Um, uh, if, hmm, if we could either prove that they knew the victim or knew each other, that's where our way out. So let's start with knowing the victim. Seems like a rational conclusion, eh? The victim, thrice fired mortar. Did you never meet him before the incident? Mata! Right, right, absolutely, absolutely right. My name's not right, my name's Noruhodo. I mean, I might have a descendant named right in certain parts of the country, Japanifornia. <laughs> I've absolutely never met him. That's what he's trying to get at. Mr. Lady first, is it true for you as well? Of course, because I'm just a simple hatter. A mad hatter, maybe. It's your favorite part of the game? Mata! It has no chill. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Let me know if the game volume's a bit loud. It might be. Let me just turn it down a, a tiny smidge. In other words, what we're trying to say is... We are absolutely unrelated to these people. Huh, there's a little bit of McGundle over here. What's up, McGundle? Excuse me, uh, Mr. McGundle, if I may? Yes, of course, my good barrister. Did that testimony jog your memory about anything? Hmm. So these two are completely unrelated to this case, hmm? Huh? What are you going on about? That's the fair play. It's been some time, hasn't it? It's been a long time, Snake. Huh? Uh-huh. You know, I believe it's about that time your deadline is fast approaching. Reminding him about his debt right now. Nuts! Let's see. I believe it was 20 guineas you borrowed from me for correct. Borrowed four from me. That can't be legal. Such outrageous interest rates. You deceived me. I'm sure it was all in the fine print. 
friends, how one might safely say you're harboring some resentful feelings toward me, yes? Badgering the witness. I mean, you are also a witness, so, I mean, but you're also the defendant. <laughs> Is this allowed in a court of law? I have no idea. There's too many people on the stand. Drew the Man 102, hello, welcome back to the stream. It's been a while. It has. How you doing? It's been a long time. Uh, so much so that you might have such a motive to cast your own sins upon me. Read you like an open book, eh? Uh oh! <gasps> oh! And then we have you, Master Lady First. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about me? You are a milliner, a crafter of hats. Do you perchance also make that very fine silk hat you got there? Uh, huh? Well, well, I'm still in training, you see. I take the customer's measurements and make a hat that fits them just right. It fits them just right? It seems a bit too personalized, doesn't it? Well, we have customers who say they really like such personalization. For, for instance, the victim, Mr. Thrice-Fired Mortar. You made his hat. Wah, called out. For? Just a while ago, I saw that a photo of the crime scene was submitted into evidence, but... Yes, yes, would this be the one? Lady first back at it with the twerking. Eh, you know, I mean, I, the fair play likes it. There's no reason to stop. <laughs> this is a very unique silk hat. I can't help but feel as though I've seen it somewhere before. Oh! Oh! Oh, I, 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 I made this! Admitting it so easily. Our brick-laying victim seems to have been a customer, a customer of yours. Uh. And I would wager there had been some manner of dispute over that unique hat. Huh? No way! I, I never! In short, what I'm trying to say is... You two fine gentlemen are by no means unrelated to the case. And that's all there is to it. Thank you. Giving me that... I, I, I needed that background. It's more than a lot of other defendants gave in the Ace Attorney games. Absurd! It feels like he's doing a better job defending himself than I am. It's okay. I'm just here to take the fall from Venzeeks. <laughs> Mr. McGundle has certainly done his research, hasn't he? <laughs> now, how about we continue the trial? Yes, let's. Thank you. Although, does that actually... <laughs> that doesn't really get me anywhere. I still have the same options to contradict. The sky light was always shut. I'd like to know more about that. It's kind of my only argument right now. The skylight was closed. Is that correct? Why, that's... of course, that's... There's no doubt about it! That's what he's trying to say! Hey? Hey, what? See here! Direct your attention towards the omnibus! Alright, let's check it out, shall we? Indeed! Behold! Even now, is it not firmly shut? Well now, I'm sure if absolutely necessary, her body could have been dropped through. Oh! Simply look at how large that skylight is. Yeah, there's kind of a pane of glass though. No, no, no! Size has nothing to do with it. Ah, uh, shut up. I asked you. Try and look at the big picture here. Oh, great. Um. Once before, I was arriving that omnibus, and well, you see. I broke wind. Even I myself was surprised by it. You did what? That's not very gentlemanly like at all. <laughs> oh, why are you admitting this all of a sudden? It, you know, tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Oh, hang on. See, at the time I tried to open the skylight. But I just couldn't get it open, so it stunk up the inside. You mean in a prior time you were riding the omnibus, not now when you were on top. I started blushing and broke out in a sweat and I could feel everyone staring at me. <laughs> and why are you... 
And why are you confessing this again? Well, that is, in other words, that skylight can't be opened. I tried opening it from the inside. But what about the outside? Shut up. Hold on a second. Hold it. Uh, lady first. That's not very uh, uh, gentlemanly. Uh, excuse me, Miss Lestrade. Let's trade info about the subject, shall we? Miss Lestrade! It does open. Huh? You're talking about that skylight, right? I don't think opening it with a grenade counts. I think it opens just fine. It doesn't seem like you're using that weapon of yours just fine, though. Please don't use it on me. Ridiculous. I mean, I... When I, uh, tooted... You can't get it open from the inside, you know? What? Oh. Not too long ago, I chose to ride on the roof of a coach. Things went well enough, I'd say. In fact, I even made off with me pockets full of wallets. Please refrain from boasting to us about your accomplishments as a pickpocket. Eh, I'd say it's relevant. But then, something blooming scary happened. When I went to pinch the fourth bloke's wallet, suddenly they spotted me. They all beamed in on me, and I wasn't even able to top off the coach to get away. So I opened the skylight at my feet and escaped. I just undid the lock. It's locked from the inside. Well, it's locked from the outside. That's why you can't open it from the inside. There! That's it. That explains everything. How can that be? Skylight's lock is on the roof, so you can't open it from the inside. You can't open it from the inside? Bailiff! Please attempt to open that skylight post haste! It'll all become clear in one moment. Oh, it's right there! You know, we could have checked that earlier. <laughs> oh! Oh! <clears throat> you see? So sassy! Uh, she's in the right, though. It, 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 all the other, all the other rest of us had to do was actually check the skylight. We're, we're not that smart. Order, order! I will have order. I'll have a number six, a number nine, a number nine extra large. It appears the young lady's testimony is true. That's so the skylight could have been opened from the rooftop. Norhodo! I bet this new information will become a vital clue for us. Ah, uh, Gina, you're too good for us. Like the best character, huh? I can see that so far. No defense. Please resume your cross-examination. At least the smartest person in this room. Yes, my lord. So the skylight can be opened, huh? Maybe I should double-check it. Yeah, a little bit. We should have checked it in the first place. Windy, what's up? Hello. Welcome back. You haven't missed much. Just found out that the skylight opens on the omnibus. You know, something that probably should have been brought up by at least the prosecutor before. As intimidating as Van Zeeks is, he's kind of the least useful prosecutor so far. He's done less talking than Prosecutor Payne. The skylight's locked shut by this latch. Now that it's been unfastened, it should be possible to open this. Yeah, look at it. All right, but where does that get us, though? Hey, it looks like you can really see what's going on inside the coach from the skylight. It seems there was a lab inside the coach as well. So there's no doubt that the witnesses could clearly see the crime. This is bad news. Yeah, bye. Alright. Uh, I might need to look at the skylight from the inside. Let me just check that real quick. I will say that the music, although not as immediately catchy as the other games, I'm really liking it. The orchestration's on point. No examination, huh? Or kind of? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. I can I can kind of examine it. It's coming up sometimes. Here we go. Oh, I suppose that if the skylight opened about this far, then a gentleman of, say, your size could likely be kicked down through it. 
What about a gentleman the size of the judge? He's a big dude. Yeah, all that hair. Hey, what does it have to be me? Because you're easy to toss. Ah! Suzano, what's the matter? This. Look here. Oh my god, there's blood. Ah, that proves it then. The body came through here. Uh, Zeke's is a man of few words. Intimidating, but also not very conducive to a case. It's... There's no mistaking it. It's a blood stain. It's a blood stain! Don't take my lines! Why? N Naze, why would a blood stain be left in a place like this? Maybe. It could very well be related to the case. Uh, maybe. Ah, there's a blood stain on the skylights in a frame. That's exactly what I need. Okay, okay. Now I'm confident. I have the evidence that'll give me the win to the case. If the victim fell through the skylight, then you demand evidence. Let me just press this once to make sure, or else I'm gonna present present that evidence right now. The one we just got. <laughs> evidence, you say? Yes, evidence. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. We just came here so that we could tell you what we witnessed. And yet you paint us as criminals. That's completely unfair. That's what we're trying to say here. At present. Who? As no conclusive evidence has yet been found. I believe both myself and you lot are in equally dire situations, are we not? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Double shock. I should probably calm him down and fast. Good idea. Are those two really related to the case? I 100% sure. At least I'm sure that they're not unrelated. I'm not sure. <laughs> After all, I don't know either of them. However, I don't know anything about Mr. McGundle either. What am I supposed to believe? Evidence. Evidence, my dear Naruhoto. Evidence. Naruhoto. In court, the only thing that can determine the outcome is evidence. Evidence. Even all these jurors, they can't raise an objection to device decisive evidence. In other words, we have to find that decisive evidence. That's right. I mean, how it works in America, at least, is the jurors can't even talk. They don't want to influence the case. All right, give me that. Give me that. Give me that statement. I'm going to press. I'm going to show you the evidence you need. I missed it. Hold on, we're coming back around. It'll take just a moment. This is the one. Uh, present? I'll give you a present. It's evidence. Bam. Objection! That night, the victim was stabbed by someone with a knife, and he lost his life. That rhymed. Yeah. After that, the culprit dropped the body into the coach from the skylight. The decisive piece of evidence that proves this was clearly left behind within the omnibus itself! <gasps> Preposterous! Such evidence can't possibly exist! Yeah, yeah! Because we're not criminals! You think decisive evidence is inside the omnibus? Egg. What's up, Vin? Hello, welcome. Hello. You haven't missed much. Well, I keep saying that, but there's more and more to miss. Uh, yeah, no. Last time we left off, Fair Play and Lady First were, you know, accused of being involved in the crime. We found a blood stain on the skylight, indicating that the body had to have passed through there. Defense! Surprising, no? Sir! It appears we must request a more detailed indication. Hey, what? Show us the nature of this evidence that was left behind at the scene of the crime. The evidence showing that the victim fell down through the skylight is... Well, you know, it's kind of the skylight itself. Sounds good to me. There it is. Or here it is. That is, of course... Um, is something wrong? Yeah, the, the game wants me to look at pixels, apparently. That was the right place. Is something wrong? Were I to hazard a guess, as he so brazenly stated, of course, he realized he wasn't as confident as he had thought. And so, he clumsily stayed his tongue. I'd say that is an accurate assumption. 
No! No! Not fair. Your silence here earns you a penalty. Say something now, Rohodo. I can't falter like this. I need to try and find that decisive piece of evidence. It's, you know, just five pixels away from where I actually pointed. Okay, okay. Given that I have two objections left, and I am, you know, unfairly losing them, let's just save real quick. Sounds prudent. A very prudent owner! Da -da -da -da. Oh, wait a minute. Is it not? Uh, it's on the other side! <laughs> yeah! Uh, I mean, the other side of the window, Your Honor. Ah. I'll be more careful next time. Oh, isn't this a bloodstain? Oh. This bloodstain proves two things. When the incident occurred, the skylight of the coach was open. Oh. And furthermore, the victim passed through the skylight while bleeding. Oh, oh, oh. So at the very least, from Mr. McGundle, who was inside the coach, this crime was impossible! Yeah! Yeah! You lie! I've just turned this case on its head. That's what I've done. No lies involved. Hey, I mean, I'll bluff here or two there, but that's my style. Order! 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 Mata! Mata! Hey, why does he have a hold in? <laughs> He's just an ancillary character. An ex a secondary character. Was he chewing on his cane? It's bubblegum flavored. <laughs> Sealed room trick. No, that was last time. I'm sorry, Skaven. McGundle is innocent. Yeah, disappointment, but <laughs> I, I kind of want to win the case. Sorry. But, 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 that blood could have been splattered from inside. How fortuitous. How fortuitous would it have been for blood to only land on the skylight hatch? What? Furthermore, the skylight can only be opened from the rooftop seats, correct? I couldn't have opened it at all. But what? 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 We can't really know for sure whether the body fell through the skylight. If that is not enough for the good jurors, I ask the court to examine the omnibus floor. But, but. With what we now know, these stains could only be one thing. Traces left by the fallen victim. Rest his soul. Oh, no. You, you lie. Hey. Hold it. My fellow jurors. <laughs> Richard Nixon jurors back. 10 IQ argument. 10 out of 10 or 10 out of, you know, 150. Good job, fair play. Celeste, what's up? How you doing? I think we can all agree on a not guilty verdict. Indeed. I have come to realize just who the true filth here is. The hell is this? We just had the world pulled over our eyes this entire time. Uh. How dare they soil the inside of our guild's coaches. I was the only one who had it right after all. Thank you, Grammy. <laughs> Uh, right then, on three, everyone! One, two, three! Uh, incoming hold it in three, two, one. Idiot! Yeah! Called it. It was an objection, but still. What is it now, Van Zeeks? You've said nothing about this whole trial. Have you just been watching in silence? Oh, yes, I just found it so amusing. <laughs> I must commend you, Cosney McGundall. Whatever do you mean, Lord Barok Von Zeeks? Uh -huh. Bloodstains on the skylight. Curare in the skylight. Uh, yes, poison. Such evidence is invalid. What, what, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Did somebody plant it? No, you can't say that. That means the whole crime scene is invalidated, if so. But that's my only out. Welcome back, Hammy. How you doing? There is but only one reason for my assertion. 
Those traces never existed to begin with. No! Falsified? What do you mean? What are you saying? Any way you look at it, you can clearly see that this is a blood stain. Hammy's back with mozzarella sticks. Ooh, did you bring some for the whole chat? You better have. Please share with the class. Skimming wants some. I myself was present for Scotland Yard's investigation. The investigation unit searched the omnibus from top to bottom. Uh -huh. Ergo, I am able to assert this with utmost certainty. Surety, in fact. No such traces ever existed. At the very least, that was true when this trial began. Huh? But... So, so then the bloodstain... Someone forged it during this very trial. What? But, 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 not McGundal. He's been here. He's, he's, uh, he's been under watchful surveillance. Unless you were in cahoots with Gina. Oh, I don't know who to believe. I've been I was thrown into this case not knowing a single thing, whether or not to trust my client. This is what makes it so different from every other ace attorney. Show me the documents that prove this. I don't have any evidence. I can't believe Lord Baroque Benzix of all people would make such a reckless remark. <laughs> uh, who do I believe? The prosecutor or my defendant? This isn't the first time I wasn't sure. Ace Attorney, please. <laughs> uh, Skimmin, go get some mozzarella sticks. You don't have a toaster oven. Oh, never mind. Uh, how am I? I am pretty good. How is everybody? Hope everybody had a good day yesterday. I went a little bit later than usual on my stream, but... I hope I didn't keep anybody up too late. And I hope you guys had a good morning as well. Ah, uh, breakfast remark. Ah. Uh. I am Cosney Magondol, a celebrity of our dearest city of London. Thus, I am compelled to firmly oppose any baseless slander. Even if it comes from the so-called Grim Reaper. Cosney Magondol, you have never once taken the witness stand until today's trial. And yet, I have felt your influence in the shadows of many crimes. It's telling me he's a crime boss? I don't... He could very well be. But he's my defendant. I have to believe in him. Have to. Without lifting a finger, you've involved yourself in a great number of incidents. And then, you tamper with them to your liking. He tampered with other incidents? This does not look good for me. He might be telling the truth in this one. <laughs> Uh, Skippin had a hot dog. It's pretty good. Hot dogs are great. Ah, uh, Vinny had a good day. Can't stick around the whole time. You got work in the morning. Understandable. Understandable. I I should only be I'd be through with this trial in a bit. It should only take about an hour or so. As he earned riches by his usury and crimes, he felt that his wealth could accomplish anything. Twisting evidence, interfering with crime scenes, and bribing witnesses to speak as he wills. Hollywood to create a convenient tale, beneficial to him alone. Oh, what a bold imagination. Dear me, what utter nonsense. Don't you agree, my good barrister? I don't know. Drew the man, have a good night. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, yes. You've heard the prosecutor's desperate claims, right? When the trial started, the bloodstain did not exist. Uh. At the same time, who can corroborate that? Bring someone from Scotland Yard here. To have them tell us whether you opened the skylight. But if you recall, ever since the trial began, the omnibus has been right here, in plain view. I never had a chance to forge a fake bloodstain. Isn't that right, Barrister? But it's such an oddly specific denial. He's right. The omnibus has been in front of our eyes this whole time. Not completely true. If something happened during the intermission with the whole smoke grenade incident, that throws everything around. Attorney. Yeah. Let us hear your own thoughts in your own words from your own mouth. 
I got some merch for you, Van Zeeks. I'm screwed. T understood. During this trial, could someone have forged the bloodstain on the coach? <sighs> Does it... Is the question during this trial meaning during while we were all here? Uh, I feel like I have to take the stance that it was impossible, though. No, 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 no. This game has proven that we can still go somewhere with it, even if it is possible. Uh, McGundle's the most talkative defendant thus far, isn't he? A bit too suspiciously talkative, if you ask me. I mean, I, in my mind, I'm saying the intermission is likely, but I don't know if Naruhodo is thinking of that. The defense attorney stands in court for his client's sake. But... I'm starting to think there's something even more important. The truth. The truth! Sabrina says stuff. Hello, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. There may be no evidence that the defendant did something like that. However... It is rather a tense time to enter. But you know what? That's this whole game. It's as good as a time as any. If he had even a single chance to do so, it's entirely possible. Oh? Character development? What? What's this? In my Ace Attorney game? Character development? What? Perish the thought. <laughs> Precisely. It seems our Oriental attorney wants no part in building up this smokescreen of falsehood. Falsehood? Falsehood? Everyone in this courtroom should clearly remember this. Oh, what a thought. This trial has taken a single recess. Thanks to the smoke bomb set off by this witness, Miss Lestrade. Okay, so he's thinking about it. Oh, I wish that didn't happen then. It's not like he she it's not like she actually succeeded in getting away. What's going on? Naruto, we're in danger! Get down! Close to the ground! Bailiffs, don't let the defendant escape! Secure the omnibus! Well, they did a terrible job securing it, apparently. The court declares an emergency recess! The bailiffs will capture the defendant and assist in evacuating the courtroom. Damn. There was an evacuation though. The smoke completely obscured our vision in the courtroom, and it descended into chaos. Chaos, chaos. We were all forced out into the waiting lobby as a result. In that single moment, Ugh! it would have been possible to approach the omnibus. I am about to destroy my entire argument. <laughs> Great. Don't you toy with me! He's back to being an angry boy. What are you playing at, you filthy amateurish upstart? Uh, amateurish upstart? I'm sorry, I don't understand English. What does that mean? <laughs> You're no barrister! This... This is some kind of conspiracy! <laughs> <laughs> Objection! Whether he's a barrister or an amateurist upstart, the facts remain unchanged! Mats, thanks for the reset. Thanks for the eight months. How you doing? Uh, oh. After the trial's smoke bomb induced recess ended, there were appeared a number of oddities in the omnibus. Uh, The fact that the inside the inside of the cab inside the trunk all the stuff was missing even more on that what what is he actually guilty he might be well i guess skaven you might get what you want explain these oddities first was the trunk beneath the seat when the police examined it they confirmed that the driver's tools were inside and as for the blood stain on the skylight, like before, it did not exist when the trial began this morning. What a freaking twist! I don't know what to believe myself! Home! However, Lord Van Zeeks, 
I'm afraid to say it, but neither of those facts were confirmed during this trial. That's right. When the omnibus was brought before the court, they were both closed. As such, it is difficult to confirm any fabrication of the crime scene. Quite so. It is possible that not a single person would be able to confirm for certain. If only I checked more closely. What do you think, Norohodo? Suzato? In the omnibus? Are there any other traces of evidence you find unnatural? Any other traces of evidence I find unnatural? Whoa, I, I didn't take a closer look. Hold on, hold on. Anything else different? It still says Phoenix Wright Omnibus. Number 418. I don't remember if that was the number from before, though. They can't have really wheeled in an entire other Omnibus, did they? I don't remember enough about it to say for certain or no, not. <sighs> any other, any other, any other? I personally don't know. To be honest, my memory is kind of foggy. All I can really say is nothing jumps out at me. My lord, the defense doesn't... No! <coughs> okay, Suzato, answer my question for me. There's just one spot in the omnibus. There's a spot with traces of evidence that did not exist at the beginning of the trial. What? What? What are you talking about, Suzato? Unless... Was there a... Wait. I don't think there was a blood stain on the carpet last time. What are you talking about, Suzato? I know we looked through the coach together, but... I have a strange feeling that something is different about it now. I just can't shake it. What are you trying to say this time, Barrister? If you plan to betray me, you had better watch your back! <laughs> the defendant will cease this with his worthless ranting. The court eagerly awaits the defense's answer. <laughs> this trial is a blend of truths and falsehoods. <laughs> I will say, this is the most twisty Ace Attorney so far. And it's not even because of... You know, wacky things that happen. It's all realistic. I like it. I like it a lot. Just where is he going to take us next? Wasn't the blood stain originally on the seat? There's also a blood stain on the seat, but I don't remember one on the carpet. It seems it's up to you to show us the answer. The third unnatural trace that appeared on the crime scene is... Uh, let me let me double check. See, there is a blood stain there. I feel like I would have noticed this one, though. Yeah, because I've looked at the ground. I have. Coconut! Coconut! If we assume that the victim was stabbed on the rooftop and dropped through the skylight, then it's only natural that there would be a large blood stain just below. But was it there before? But as far as I can remember, when this omnibus was first presented to the court, there wasn't a blood stain here. Oh. 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 Now that you say it, I feel as though you may be correct. Ah. Well said. You've made my argument for me. Maybe you should be the prosecutor. <laughs> oh. And to assert such a thing as his attorney, for once there was no thoughtless blunder. Indeed. I'm a terrible defense lawyer, aren't I? Those bloodstains were thought to be decisive proof. But I cannot deny the possibility that someone maliciously forged evidence inside the omnibus. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a little you mad, bro? You a little bit mad? I may be a terrible defense lawyer, but a great ace attorney. But um, shh. Mr. McGundal. Up until now, I have cooperated with this court to the full extent of my ability. 
But now it's finished. Um, but, but you're the defendant, so. I said this trial is finished. Ugh. You're finished. Memory, you know, I all know it means nothing. Look at the facts. Those traces are the truth. D but, but. And even though he's wasted all this time, Lord Reaper over there can't present any concrete evidence. Ugh. Really, the Grim Reaper? What a joke! Well, my lord. Oh. <laughs> Not phased at all. He's completely changed demeanor. Wow. Indeed, memory is not valid evidence. However, it appears it's all the evidence we have. The bloodstains at the crime scene do indeed exist at present. So as long as there is no way to prove that they previously did not exist, then it is impossible to prolong this trial any longer. But, but... Do you have any comments, Lord Van Zeeks? Hmm. The prosecution has presented all the testimony and evidence we had to offer. The defense did a great job of finishing it all for us. That is all. Understood. If all the possibilities have been discussed, then the court must move on to its verdict. As a formality, the court would like to confirm the defense's stance. Uh, guilty. <laughs> guilty! What does he mean, formality? It seems at this rate, Mr. Bagundal will receive a not guilty verdict. Not guilty? Not guilty? Jurors! Have you been listening to everything that's been happening? Look at this man! He is clearly guilty! <coughs> oh, it would be our victory. Is this really okay? Oh. Yeah, that blood stain on the ground was way lighter. It's obviously not the same. Uh, should I really end the trial like this? No. <laughs> no. Defense, deliver your closing statement. Uh, uh, my closing statement is, uh, first I'll save. <laughs> Just in case. Save. Uh. Understood. The defense pleads inconclusive. <laughs> I don't know. The defense shrugs its shoulders. I am the appointed attorney of the defendant, Cosney McGundle. However, at this point in time, I can't decisively plead that he's not guilty. Uh, let's not look at McGundle right now. He's going to bite my ear off. What's this? Ooh, he mad. It's true that there is no evidence conclusive enough to prove that he committed the crime. However, I don't believe that his innocence can be proven yet either. He's gonna pounce! What did you say? Ah! <laughs> Cosney, uh, don't have a heart attack or else we can't even try you. Order! 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 Uh, this is completely unprecedented. The defense isn't arguing for the defendant's innocence? I don't know what to do anymore. I kind of expected you to bleed not guilty. <laughs> Damon Gant vibes. I wasn't wrong to accept you as my defense. Nothing gets past you. Uh, well... You've put on such a wonderful show, even at the very end. Hey, you both. McGundle and Gina both fiddled with a coin. Maybe you paid her off. Go on, take your tip. Ow. I don't want it. Your job is done here. Thank you for all you've done for me today. What do you mean? As the Honorable Lord Judge so aptly said just moments ago. As long as this trial cannot continue. And the defense's plea, as the word implies, remains nothing but a formality. Jury 
do something. Half split. The the the, the what's that thing? Just gerrymander. Not gerrymander. <laughs> just, just stall. Even for us, this situation is too much to settle. Uh, this only works because medical. No yeah, technology at this time can't let us forensically investigate as that that well. All they know is it's blood. They can't tell if it's his and at all. All right, all right. Split the room. Where's that Danganronpa split music? Give me some initial D hero beat. Ultimately, is any of this evidence real? If only we could just close our eyes and dispose of all the filth. Are we sure this dude ain't related to Gant? He's very similar, isn't he? Looks all stoic and then all of a sudden goes crazy. <laughs> that though, the money bags. It's the only way for us to know pace. Doubting the man who donated that beautiful part. Oh, I've embarrassed myself. Hmm. Oh. As long as this situation stands, it will be impossible to continue this trial. A verdict cannot be passed. Thus, we shall heed the defendant's request. You're not gonna get away with this, you. You have my gratitude, my lord. Without further ado, it is now time for the verdict. Yeah. Th no, objection! But we still don't know if the bloodstain is the coach unreal or not! Nor even if these witnesses' testimonies are true or full of lies! We still don't know a single, single thing about the truth! Oh, Lord Van Zeex. Yes. Yes. This is all due to the prosecution's lack of sufficient proof. That is all there is to it. You did a terrible job. Noted. Uh-ha. Okay, this is epic. The possibility remains that the illegal forged evidence was planted in the omnibus. The court believes that the prosecution is to blame for this. I don't know specifically, because isn't that damaging to their case? At the same time, maybe they knew they were going to lose, so they forged up evidence to make us not sure at all. My sincerest apologies. My sincerest apologies. I keep confusing the judges and Van Zeke's voice. I mean, to be fair, Van Zeke's didn't even have a voice until last stream. <laughs> The planted blood stain is real. We have to wonder where it came from. Could be animal blood. Could be somebody cut themselves. It's. I mean, it's it, blood is easy to come by when it doesn't have to be anybody specifics. Forensics not advanced. But at the time, Prosecutor Van Zeeks did in fact issue an order to preserve the omnibus, or rather, an order to forge evidence. Oh. Ultimately, he is the one at fault for this. He cannot avoid his responsibility. No. As of yet, the court cannot pass a guilty verdict. Therefore, there is no need to leave the verdict to the jurors. What? What are they here for? Look pretty. Today has been quite rough, eh, Prosecutor Van Zeeks? For you and for my esteemed barrister as well. Uh, then what is the point of us even being here? These are simply the laws of our great British courtrooms. If you want to keep this trial in session, then why not start by changing the law? Yeah, that's not gonna be fast enough. Somebody contact the Queen! Cosney Magundal. Oh, is there something you'd like from the great Magundal? The great and powerful Magundal, yes. <laughs> Allow me to give you but a single warning. He's gonna go he's gonna get away scot free, isn't he? Do not think that this is over. Uh, he's he, He's gonna come back. He's it's this is not over. It's not over yet, Snake! He's gonna be set free right now, and he's gonna come back in a later episode. Oh, I'm calling it. Uh Ryanosuke. He's a good boy standing up for Baroque. For the truth, and not just what, just because he wants to be a lawyer man.
backwards laws, but I mean, I look forward to your next raping then. <laughs> now, I shall announce the verdict for Cosney McGundle. Innocent until proven guilty. Yay! 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 Don't fire fireworks in the middle of a courtroom! <laughs> oh. I'm sad. I'm sad! This isn't right! This isn't the law! This isn't justice! Is this even possible? This is all wrong! Go through the evidence again! What are you talking about? Haven't his suspicions all been cleared up? Uh, uh, well, the saddest victory of all. We didn't win. We were an accomplice to lies and a corrupt law system. The courthouse fell into a second round of chaos as the verdict was passed down. My first trial in the Great British Empire had ended. With a client's innocence. In other words, our victory. Doesn't feel very victorious. No amount of JoJo posing can make him any better in my eyes. The dang fool went and did it! I'm so disappointed in myself. 18th of February, 5.14pm. Old Bailey, defendant lobby. At least I get to be a lawyer now. I don't want to be a lawyer if it means convicting, not convicting criminals. Make me a prosecutor. That should have been the stance I should have taken. Your defense was well fought, Naruhoto. Oh, hey, Suzato. Your first victory in a foreign land. It was all inspiring. Don't play the victory music right now. Play the sad music. Congratulations. From the bottom of my heart, I know you had that speech prepared, but it doesn't really work. I should thank you, Suzato. Was this really for the best, though? Oh. In the end, we still know nothing about the truth of this case. We didn't- we just didn't have time to find the truth. But- Who murdered Mr. Mortar? We still haven't gotten to the bottom of it. The one and only mission of the Eternity is to fight for a favorable verdict for his clients. And in my opinion, you carried out your mission perfectly. LIES! Phoenix Wright wouldn't have done this! She's right, you know. What do you want, you two-faced son of a fish? <sighs> well, now that I'm a lawyer, I can convict him of something else and actually get him guilty. Law, have, have a loss with, 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 with dignity. Mr. McGundle. Uh, this is awkward. And she's with him, too. The rumors were true, after all, eh? Huh? What rumors? When the Crown Court hounds down a not guilty verdict, they fire off six great fireworks! No, actually, it was just because Mario got to the castle with a six on the timer. Did you see it? It was a beautiful sight! Yeah, it sure was. I've heard so much about the liberating sight of fireworks from the defendant's stand. And I owe it all to you! Don't I, my good barrister? <laughs> uh. yeah, shut up, you gorilla. No, honestly, I don't think it was my effort that freed you. It was tampering with the evidence. Phoenix has that magic lie detection bull. Not in the first game. The first game he stood for justice and even converted, well, like spoilers for the first game, converted Edward over to the side of truth. One of the few cases where you don't have to find the real killer. I want to, though! I feel empty. This is a phantom pain. Oh, please, this again? What else could it have been? Instead of my effort, I'd rather call this victory your handiwork. <sighs> well, to be entirely frank, you put me through some frightening moments along the way. But let's just call those missteps of youth and let it all be water under the bridge. 
Gold swimming lately. <laughs> Congratulations on your not guilty of verdict, Mr. McGundle. Congratulations? Even though the mystery remains a mystery? He could be a murderer! There's only one thing of importance to me. What? That would be... Having all of those fools acknowledge that I did not commit that crime. What do you think? It feels great, doesn't it? That's not what you accomplished. Not at all. You're just gonna start more rumors. Right. Let's just read the rest of the yard. The pride of our capital. They're probably under your payroll as well. They will surely reveal the truth. That's what I believe, at least. You see. I paid them a great sum to make certain of it. Ah! You admit it! Now we can get you for tax fraud like Capone. Yeah, pay your taxes. Pay the queen. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? No. As promised, I'll be paying you 1,000 guineas. Dirty money. And I won't hear a single word of complaint. Not complaining. No, 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 no. I can't take that much money. My, my. You Japanese really are modest. So, Desu. Uh, very well, then. If that's how it must be. Uh, take this. It's a tip. <laughs> Still dirty, though. Cause name a gundle. The preparations are complete, so if you would please move to the Crown Court. The Crown Court? Oh, this is much earlier than I was led to believe. I'm very sorry. The plans have changed somewhat. Well, you heard the man. I must excuse myself now. I will be stuck inspecting the crime scene for a while yet, I am told. What for? It seems that the Omnibus will have to undergo another investigation, given the circumstances. They said that they want me to be present for it, if at all possible. What, so you can mess it up even more? A reinvestigation? To tell the truth, I have no obligation to follow through with it. But as a London celebrity, I'm willing to cooperate as much as possible. As long as I'm not guilty. I'll spend as much money as it takes. That is a gentleman's duty, you see. Yeah. Farewell now. It is a pleasure to have met you. <laughs> I pray that you have an enjoyable time as exchange students. Having just a blast, McGundle. Yes, totally. Son of a... Mm. There he goes. Benny hates this guy. I'm pretty sure that's the point. Oh, right. She was here. You're not... You're, you're not with him, are you? Don't shoot! Guards, do something! You're just letting your load a gun! Don't move a bleeding muscle! She's handling that ammunition as inefficiently as ever. Um, Miss Less Trade, uh, Gina, could you refrain from pulling out such a dangerous weapon? <laughs> Stupid adults! Adults? I'm, I'm like 20! Like, look at it. Well, Suzato's 16. I'm not in here. Huh? Oh, you ate the blooming lot of ya! No! Oh. No! Oh. You were here all along! Oh, uh, that's- that's not- that's not what I expected. I can't go any higher! Who is this? You know, case 23. Okay. That's still not very adult. At least- at least not in my eyes, because I'm not very much of an adult either. I can't go any higher pitched. I can't be a tiny girl. My voice is about to die. I'm gonna take the biggest drink of water right now. Hold on. <clears throat> Get the helium. Oh. I'm never doing that again. Who in the world is this little girl? Oh, 
excuse me, uh, who even are you? The tiniest inventor. So you're working with Gina, huh? Well, I'll tell you something, you're not Miu. No way. Not the ultimate, an inventor. I'd rather just avoid the smoke screen in the first place, thanks. Tracking device? I have no idea what she's talking about. off by a tiny child. Adults? Oh, oh, but I... Uh, rocket launcher? Uh -huh. Gordon Bennett, fine then. Gordon Bennett who? And before she's older than anyone here. Japan! Obviously because she has a huge weapon trained on her. Ah! There! Solid snake. Forward smash! Thank you, Japan, for, for making the English conform to your, your anime. <laughs> what a lively little girl. Yeah, that's one word for it. Yeah. I believe we should be moving on as well. Yeah, you're right. Let's forget that ever happened. But... <laughs> uh, something tells me we're gonna see them a lot more. Where exactly can we move on to? Huh? After all, we came straight to this courthouse after we arrived in London. The bailiff still has our belongings, and we have nowhere to sleep for the night. Maybe we should have taken that a thousand guineas. Even if it is dirty money. It's, it's money. <laughs> Oh, I had originally planned to search for lodgings before the day was over. But now we won't have enough time, right? Let's just sleep in the defendant lobby. I'm sure they'll let us. There's a couch. There's no need to fear. I can sleep in the omnibus. Just cover myself in fresh blood. Because apparently it's fresh. Am I going to use that filter for her all the time? Uh, I would I actually have tried... Um, to do something my, my my own voice, but after playing this game yesterday, it's kind of shot a little bit. Here's here's what I try. Um, I invented that. Yes. You're now right. I look away for one second, and it, 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 you take my smoke grenade launcher. You know what? That's actually not that bad. I'll use that. Just use Karare. Karare. I didn't make the voice to speech. It was just like a pre-made thing from a dictionary website. Uh. If push comes to shove, then we can at least rest ourselves at McGundle Park. McGundle Park? I don't want anything to do with that man. Do not say that name ever again. The nights are rather cold at this time of year, but we can endure it with the vigor of youth. Yeah, that's right. If I start, if I start um, losing blood flow, just Suzanto toss me a couple of times until the, all the blood rushes to all parts of my body from bruising. <laughs> I wonder. A night in London, in the dead of winter? Young or old, you'd probably freeze to death. Ah, uh, why didn't we come in the summer? Uh, I'd rather not freeze. If I knew it would come to this, I really would have accepted those a thousand guineas. Yeah? You didn't think of that beforehand? Please plan better, Naruhodo. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. And so... On the day of my arrival in London, my evaluation as an attorney came to a close. However, afterward, it was made fully clear to us that what the Reaper had said was true. This case was absolutely not over.
Oh my gosh. Hey? Anime? Hello? What's going on? Hurry, call the fire brigade! Water! We need water! It's on fire! What the hell is going on here? I don't know, sir. By the time I got here, everything was... Wasn't this area supposed to be restricted until the investigation resumed? That's why you shouldn't have let McGundle near the coach. Now it's destroyed! Bloody hell! There's someone inside! What? Judge! A double murder, eh? Oh, what in blazes? Oh, this sucks. Uh, Van Zeeks is having a one hell of a day, isn't he? Rip. Yeah, you're just gonna end it like that. Well then, that was certainly something, yeah, wasn't it? Uh, no, 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 I wanted the, the adventure of the clouded Kokoro. Kokoro? Is that an English word, or they just mean heart in Japanese? <sighs> a new a new episode has been added. Save? Yes. You know, I came to this stream today. Well, I came to the stream. I started this stream today expecting closure to that. Now I'm more confused than ever. Uh, I guess no sleeping on... <laughs> yeah, no, Vinny. Yeah, definitely don't sleep on the Undy bus now. Or maybe that's what happened. We're, we're the ones in there. <laughs> okay, so this isn't a Sherlock Holmes story then. It's it's a brand new thing. The clouded Kokoro. Well, in that case... Oh, it's so good. It's so good. There's more. It's not over. Not over yet. <sighs> what Ace Attorney devs, you have outdone yourself. So... Guess we're gonna have to find out in a future episode. Just who exactly is Cosney McGundle? What is up his sleeves? Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Things are gonna be weird. Things are gonna be weird in London, but in any case, thank you guys for watching. That is not the end of the stream, but it is the Great Ace Attorney's third episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I am intrigued. I am mystified. I am utterly confused. But that's what I like about mystery games. And I hope... I hope it resolves satisfyingly. If I know Capcom... They might just do it. <coughs> Half end, yes. So, if you're here for just the Great Ace Attorney, I bid you farewell. Have a good night. Don't sleep too late. We're going to switch games soon. But if you haven't already, you can follow me on Twitch to catch me live next time I stream this episode for, or other games like it. Uh, you can follow, subscribe to my YouTube, and uh, find streams I've done in the past, games I've played in the past, uh, you know, just to catch up or to explore what else I've done. And you can follow my Twitter for updates about the stream. You know the deal. Uh, if you're going to sleep, I will let you have a good night. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye.